On Pascha of 1923, Nikolai Velimirovich sat down with an empty notebook and wrote out a beautiful hymn and dedicated it to his good friend, Justin Popovich. This is, in my humble opinion, one of the most beautiful hymns ever written, not only in the 20th century, but maybe in the past millennia. Well, hey, everybody, welcome back to Orthodox Review, the most uneducated educational program on the Internet today. I'm your host, the guy with one and a half thumbs, and today, dear sweet brothers and sisters in Christ, we're going to be taking a look at the Akathist to Jesus, the Conqueror of Death by St. Nikolai Vilimirovich, and boy, oh boy, um, <laughs> let's, uh, Oof. Okay, this was suggested to me by uh, Jamie Bennett way back in the day. Um, I've had this on my bookshelf for about oh, five years or so. And the very first time I read it, it took me forever to read this. Um, and found out later, the reason is, this is not something you just sit down and read. Uh, it, it, it demands to be chanted. It it, it compels one to read it out loud. Um, so with that, let's get into the <laughs> the deliciousness of it all. Okay, so the English uh, edition is from 2009 from uh, St. Paisius Monastery in uh, Safford, Arizona. It's from the original 1923 edition, um, which of course he wrote by hand uh, in a blank notebook, and this is uh, a reproduction of a page out of that uh, original uh, notebook. Now, it's worth noting that this is, it, it's not just an akathist in the traditional sense. Um, usually, uh, akathists, as we know, usually you have, a th uh, um, you have uh, 12 uh, ikoi, and um, Eremos, and in this, you do have that once you get to the Akathist uh, uh, proper. So you have the Kentakia and Ecos, um, but in the, uh, the Ecos itself, instead of just being a short prayer and then a bunch of uh, singular lines um, ending in you know, rejoice, whatever. It's it's more of a uh, a traditional eco. Now, um, the way it was originally written, and it's kind of printed semi backwards, but it's okay. Uh, is that this is actually the entire uh, movable parts for a vigil service? So let's go back to the back here real quick, and what we have is. It went too far. So, really, we have all the stikira, the glories, everything, uh, and traparia through uh, vespers. And then, when you go back to the beginning, you have... Come on. You have the canon. And then, in the canon, you have the akathist. So you, you've got everything you need to, to perform this during a vigil. So let's get into the text itself, shall we? Um, now, the canon is, uh, f first of all, anyone who's, who's familiar with St. Nikolai's work, especially uh, prayers by the lake, uh, knows full well the, the the depth of his of his poetry, and surprisingly enough, his work translates into English near flawlessly. 
And so, even when you're not reading it in the original uh, Serbian, it it just lends itself to to this to this beautiful beautiful flow. Um, and so, let's take a look at some of the text here in the canon. We'll, uh, we'll head over here to right before the Akathis begins. Um, so let's 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 pop over here quick. By chastity and holiness, meekness and obedience, thou didst adorn thyself as the bride of the Holy Spirit Almighty, O Theotokos. Thy body was a sweetly scented temple in which the Pantocrator rested for a night. Thou art most blessed, O Queen, for thou didst oblige even God's gratitude for hospitality. In thy blessedness forget not us sinners, but by thy prayers soothe the bitterness of our life and death and grant us joy. So, even in the English, it just rolls right off the tongue. Um, now, the Akathist itself, I would say, it's, it's, um, it's fervored, it's intense, it's not like what we're used to reading, and it, it reads more like a, like a, just like a long love poem, uh, n not necessarily like metered verses. Um, and then what's really neat is starting with uh, the second Kentuckian, because again, you have uh, 13 uh, Kentuckian with 12 Ecos. Um, so the first Ecos is, is read from the perspective of, of uh, say, the, the, the reader, chanter, whoever. But then when you get into the additional 12, um, you actually have the ranks of angels. So starting with uh, the choir of angels and archangels, principalities, powers, authorities, dominions, cherubim, seraphim, thrones. Uh, then you get down to, let's see, saints and martyrs, uh, the Holy Virgin with the virgins, and finally the choir of heaven and earth. Um, and then by the 13th Kentakia, uh, you're back to normal. Um, and as you can see, these are not, again, like, like a normal Akathist, it's not just, you know, 12 verses in an echos. They're, they're really these, these incredibly long poems. Um, and, uh, let's see, okay, so, let's see, Kentucky and Nine, Choir of the Seraphim. We are the first light of thy light and the first song of thy voice. All the angels' tongues together cannot express the glory and light of the seraphim, just as we seraphim cannot express the glory and radiance, thou only begotten one, beloved of the Father and the Holy Spirit. Among seraphim thou art seraph, among cherubim thou art cherub, among angels thou art angel, among the men thou art man. Thou art all in all, and since thou art all in all, thou art servant of all and lord of all. Therefore, we who rule countless worlds below us serve in humility amid the unburning flame of the divinity of the Trinity, carrying thy love downward to thy creatures, and thy love for the creatures upward to thee, singing the triumphant hymn, Alleluia. And so it it goes on, it's, it, it's, it's almost like this, this dramatic uh, play on, on, on uh, glorifying uh, Christ, uh, not only in his death and harrowing of Hades, but his resurrection and truly uh, as conqueror of hell. Um, and it's it, again not not something you just sit down and read. It really does. It, it begs to be to be read out loud. Um, now, one thing I've always wondered is how, when, and how <laughs> would someone uh, actually place this in in a proper service? Because it is is Paschal in nature, and so outside of reading it. Uh, as, as part of a private cell rule, what, I, I don't know, I've never found a recording of it anywhere, of course I haven't looked hard enough, but I'm, I'm wondering, is this something that maybe uh, one day during the week can be uh, supplanted into one of the vigil services uh, of, of, of the 
a, a bright week. So, very, very curious little bit there. Uh, anyway, it's it's not expensive. You can usually find it for about five or ten bucks. Uh, most uh, Orthodox marketplaces, including Orthodox Marketplace, uh, um, most of the the seminaries uh, sell it. You can find it um, on Amazon, of course. Uh, this copy I bought from Hermitage of the Holy Cross, as I do tend to buy many uh, many of my books through them when uh, when possible. But uh, do yourself a, a favor. Treat yourself. To this, to this marvelous little, uh, marvelous little service here, and uh, and just kind of just let it let it wash over you, because it is a, uh, it is just. Mm. And since we're at the end here, I might as well mention uh, the marks on my hands. Here is what happens when Spooky Cat is feeling her oats. <laughs> at any rate, on behalf of her and myself, uh, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, and uh, for those of uh, you that are uh, my patrons, love you, love you, love you, love you. You could be a patron too, you know. Go ahead and head on over to the link below. We've got plenty of exclusive content down there. We're doing a series on the Ladder of Divine Ascent right now. So if that's something you're into, uh, come on over, check us out. Uh, as always, this Wednesday uh, evening, we'll be doing Books and Brews again on Instagram. And uh, yeah, just trucking right along. So... Dear, dear brothers and sisters, love you all dearly. Don't forget to go to church, say your prayers, and remember God. God bless.